To review and go over Beyonce's new album, Renaissance Act One. And we're gonna address some of the um the drama that led up to it with um Reparations with Miss Milkshake herself. Free Khalees. Um Khalees. Free Khalees. Now make sure you guys mm -hmm. um share this video on Instagram, on Facebook. Um it's gonna be on YouTube, so go to YouTube VAF1824 and subscribe. Um, and comment there if you catch this late. But yeah, we're here. You sure it's not 1825? It's 1824. <laughs> Cause you definitely said 1825 I did. I'm sorry, y'all. It's our birthdays. I got mine, right? Exactly. <laughs> That's the problem. But yeah, we're just here to um, review that and go over some things. Yes, let's just do it. But first, mm -hmm. um, just like we always do, we need a we need a glass of wine. Okay. Do the honors. Oh. <sighs> It's been a it's been a couple months. It's been a wild couple months. Wow. Couple okay. Months. So bear with us. We are coming back officially when Virgo season starts. So you know Virgo season starts around August twenty second. Mm -hmm. So, oh, what is Leo season? We're not gonna talk about that. Uh, hold on. Oh wow. Mm. So be checking for us after August twenty second. You never know we might pop up. We'll make an announcement. Period. You want to pour your wine? Yeah. It's always cold. And it's cold. Oh, oh chilly. Hold up. Why am I pouring it flicked it like that? Girl, I'm from the hood, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what that shit like a 40, son? Okay. So we like, we just gonna finish this off or we, what we doing? We can pour a little something later. I don't, I want that, I'm with that. Yeah. So we I got the drink out the way. Do you want to take a shot too? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna take a shot because <laughs> it's been a long. Um, because this Khalees situation is gonna be a doozy. Because me and him have some very conflicting thoughts. Free Khalees. So I'm gonna need to get nice and liquored up to have a conversation with him. And on Facebook, y'all can buy us stars. Yes. To help us, cause we're poor. Help us, we're poor. So don't mind if you wanna buy us a star or two. Hey, why not? Cause we are poor. We are living in a, in a um, inflation. And a recession at the same rate. In a time. recession, everything is crashing. We got monkey pops out here. COVID. COVID still got her ass running around <laughs> like she ain't got no damn sense. The soil is fucking. Um, the, so the, soil, the soil in the United States is all poisonous now. It's just too much going on. But yeah, y'all can do that. Let's take a shot, though. Take it to the head, y'all. And if you're in the room, y'all, give us hearts. Hearts, 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 hearts. Let us know you're here. Ooh, shit. So we can, so we can, um. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know it's been like six months since I drank. Oof. Oof. What? It's been six months since you drank? It's six months. I've been six months. Does six months mean three. like last the fuck night, girl? First of all, that was a virgin cocktail. It was not. It, you it haven't had a virgin anything in virgin. years, honey. <laughs> Nothing virgin has touched your mouth in a long time. What the fuck ever, sign? <laughs> but hi, everybody. So I'm going to go ahead and tell them how your um, last couple months have been. Because we haven't did a live since, like, March. So, oh, like, yeah. that all happened in March? Guess what? My car got stolen. Oh, my God. Out of my driveway. Car got stolen. Right in front of your house. Had, right in front of my house. Had to start start over, you know. Um, they found the person that stole my car too, but at this point, like, what can I do? Like, all state owns it. Right. Um, but yeah, I just been doing that, and I know I've been talking about all the other stuff that I'm doing, but I'm not gonna talk about it. Y'all see, but no, something is coming. 
But you've been, no, you've been working really hard the last couple months. I've been working my ass. I've been Literally two jobs. He was like falling asleep at the wheel. Two jobs. So yeah, it's, it's been, it's been rough, but I'm here, bitch. The fuck? I'm here. Hey, Jonathan, thank so, you for the heart. What's been going on with you? Oh, girl, nothing. <laughs> at least you are just. Ain't shit changed. I'm still stressed. I'm still depressed, but I'm still here. I'm still working at the same hell of a job. But guess what? Oh, I moved again. Yeah, we moved. We 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 finally live together now. Mm -hmm. Okay, as roommates. With Bert and fucking Ernie. Bert bitch. and Ernie all fucking day. Cause that last place, that last place I lived at. Mm -hmm. I like it. You had a bullet outside your door, bitch. It was gangster. It was like I was. Like, I know I'm from Baltimore and everything, but I left Baltimore for a reason. Well, you in the A now, so I didn't. I didn't come to Baltimore to have bullet bullets in front of my door. It was like literally. And the, the, the next door neighbors always playing loud music. Um, the baby father beat the girl up right in front of the house. It was just too much going on. So I said, you know what? I got my bonus from my job. Broke that lease, and I moved to a more quieter hood because this ain't. <laughs> this is the hood too. It's, it's quiet though. Yeah. And nobody getting their ass beat in front of my mm -hmm. in front of my house, so that's good for me. But yeah, that's all been going on for me. But um, do you have anything coming up with your own personal? Yes. So Hey Sis TV is making a comeback. It's um, it's gonna be more like a podcast form. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna put it into video as well as gonna put it on YouTube. But it's gonna be like a podcast form. I'm gonna talk about like social podcast issues. form, podcast form, come on, bottom and bottom. video form, all types of media. But, all types of media. Yeah, so I've been I've been working on that. Okay. I want to do like social commentary. I want to mm -hmm. do some um, self reflection type things. You know, just getting in touch with yourself and mm -hmm. dealing with life, and also have a little bit of um, entertainment news in there too. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for you. But yeah, it's yeah. about time. What's going on with Black Boy Wellness, though, friend? Like I said. <laughs> I know that I've been talking about it for like the past two seasons, but I'm just in a place now where I just want to show. So I'm not going to do no more talking. Y'all see. Oh, you're welcome, Jonathan. You know I'm always here. Don't worry about that. Okay, so we have to get into the meat of this, um, into this live. We did an emergency live because Beyonce, the Queen Virgo herself, dropped the fucking album. Dropped an album on us. It wasn't a surprise. No, which was know. which was new for her, and there wasn't any visuals with it yet, except for just pictures. She better give it to us every week, every weekend. It's but the season. at the dawn <laughs> of the album release, the legendary, <laughs> iconic, iconic, police. Mm -hmm. had quite an issue mm -hmm. with Beyonce listing her as like a feature on the album mm -hmm. but didn't personally ask her for the feature. Right. So she made a video and though I understand do you look on your Instagram and see what Instagram people are saying? Which I eat carrots, <laughs> see? Um, Dev Soul said Renaissance is a masterpiece. I won't say all that. I think it's a masterpiece in its in its own right, but I don't think it's her best album. I won't go that far. It's not her best album, but it is definitely it's a, it's a vibe. It's definitely a really it's good a creative vibe. project. It's a vibe. But when it came, okay. So do you want to speak your piece about? No, you piece? go first because I'm tired. Of no, you go first. No, you got it. Because I have I have this rock. Come okay. around. Paper scissors rock. Let's go. But your head big as fuck too, so you you better win. Okay. Boom. Okay. I don't know my nail. first okay so my thoughts on the whole Khalees situation okay so I respect Khalees right I think Khalees is an iconic artist I think she has set so many trends that people to, the, to today are still taking from what she has presented to us she introduced the whole you know emo girl alt black girl emo black girl crazy black girl like when Khalees came out, she made it okay for black girls to be like, you know, with the colorful hair, the big hair, the creative clothes. Like, she was really that that strong force. So I respect her, and I understand how she feels when it comes to this situation. I really do. 
But my issue is this. I feel like, just like I said about Monique, she went, she went from seeing her fan post a picture of her being featured on the album and then went right into video. Could I, I see you said, I told you this. And went right into video. She didn't think about it. She didn't, she didn't reflect on it. She literally like pushed record and went the fuck off. And I feel like her anger and her frustration was misplaced. Because I'm sorry, I know people have, I know people nowadays have this thing where they want people to be super like nice and courteous about every fucking thing. But legally, Beyonce didn't even have to put her down as a feature. That was a favor. I'm sorry, Khalees, business-wise, and you can say that I'm cold and money-hungry. Business-wise, Beyonce did what she was supposed to do. That's the fucking problem. It's too much business and not enough art. I wasn't done. But, girl, you, I feel already. like everybody deals with the decisions they made when they, throughout their life, right? Everybody, everything you've done up until now was actions that you led to it. Yeah, you were 18, 19 when you signed these contracts and you didn't really know what was going on with how your music would be put out and who would be credited and stuff like that. But that's still a decision that you made. And allegedly, she was supposed to have been dating Pharrell or something. And if you want to do all that for some D-I-C-K, then I'm sorry, it was stupid. Now you're dealing with it at 40-something years old. You're dealing with a dumb decision that you did back when you were 20. Just like I'm, like I'm dealing with dumb decisions I did back when I was 18, 19. So you just gotta deal with it. You gotta, this ain't, and you tell me every single time, when did we start having to like, personally call people about samples? I'm pretty sure Bia ass didn't call Khalees about that, um, that milkshake sample that she did a couple uh, last year. But I said my piece, what, what you wanna say? You finally done that I'm done. Damn. Um, I'm gonna make it short and sweet, girl. First of all, Bia doesn't know Khalees. So yeah, on that end is, is business. But Beyonce knows Khalees. Khalees get is a maybe a lot of things, but I don't pay Khalees to be a liar. Khalees said yeah, Beyonce, Beyonce, said Beyonce knows me. So if that's the case, this is like me trying to still was trying to sample something from you and not letting you know. Like I can, you can at least give her a call. And my issue is this: <clears throat> it's too much business in the entertainment industry now, and not enough art. So I say that I say that to say people people are too people are too business minded now. Okay. Like at the end of the day, they're artists. So it, Khalees, I mean, like you said, plenty of people have been taking them hard for me for for years, mm -hmm. right? So. I can understand why she's frustrated, and especially if you knew that if you know that person and they're taking from you. Now I will say I don't think that Beyonce deserves that much flat. Right, that's what I'm saying. I will. I will say that. That's why I say it's misplaced. I don't think it's misplaced. I think it's the the, the I think it's the the principle of it. Like, call me. Give me. A, you know me. Call me. I'm pretty sure Beyonce knows what Pharrell and them are did to Khalees allegedly. So why not just give her a courtesy call? Like, what's the harm in that? She was still gonna use a sample, either which way. So if she called Khalees and Khalees said, no, you can't, no, I don't want you to do it. Uh, she was but it's still the it's still the principle that matters. Like so at least you call. When, when when we say, first off, we don't know these relationships. I know what she said. We don't know these relationships. Okay. I do believe that Khalees and Beyonce are aware of each other and know each other have been in the same room together because their husbands, well, Khalees' ex-husband and Beyonce's current husband used to be friends. I'm sure that they crossed paths, but I don't think that just because you know somebody, you should now call them and ask them about the saying that, You know damn well she wasn't saying it like that. Like, they, they are very aware of each other. They, they know each other. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have said it like that if it, if it wasn't the case. So you so you so you tell me you think that Beyonce and Khalees are these um are I don't, these, I don't, these bosom buddies and they hang out every Sunday at brunch. No, I don't and, think that. But I think and they, while and while because this is what it made it seem. It made it seem like 
Beyonce knows Khalees, best friends, eats brunch every Sunday, mimosas, kids play together, all this stuff. And, know, then, and, then, and then, listen, and then in the background, the whole time that she's being friends with you, she records a song with your sample and it doesn't tell you about it. That's not how it works. That's but not I, how I, it works. Because it's, it's not. Girl, get out of here. You that's know, not how it works. That's not it. I'm just tired of people doing black women the way they do them. Women, period. But I'm tired of y'all putting this 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 the situation with Monique. When the girls come out and they say something, why do people be like, I mean, well, they got a point, but no, they just have a point. Like they have a point. But I think what happens is you those those points have way too much emotion in it. And you have to realize that you are a public figure. The artist though. You are a public figure. But the artist. And you should not hit that emotion and then hit record. Because whatever you're going to say is going to be microscoped and ma- and broken up and and magnified. If you had a problem with it, then you should have like actually sat there and thought about it. Well, she because because in the, in the video it. she seemed more frustrated. Like Antoine said in, on Facebook, she seemed very frustrated with with Chad and Pharrell. She wasn't given the courtesy to sit and think about it. She found out the a day before the album came, the, the day before the day the album came out. Okay. She wasn't given the courtesy to just sit there and think about it and reach out to her like, but she found out then. But my thing is, I just don't think that every time you sample somebody, you should have to call them. If you know them, you should. What is no? Like if me and you, like me and you were, if me bitch, you better give listen, me a call, bitch. Listen, if me and you. Were popular music artists right now, right? You better call me. And I wanted to sample something from you. I would call you. You know why? Because I know you. You're my best friend. I'm going to call you and say, "Look, my producer put a put a piece of your beat in it. I know you don't. I know you don't have the rights to it, but I want to let you know that in a couple months you're going to hear your sample. Because we're best friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're we're like we're we're those girls. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's not it. You don't know that though. Don't forget the stars, Facebook. Don't want to buy his stars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm just saying. But um, it's the ten cent, bitch. Damn. But it's just like I feel like the it's putting. This is not me speaking as a fan. This is me speaking as a person. Mm-hmm. I think it puts Beyonce in a position to where she did something malicious to her. I don't think it was malicious. And that she purposely sampled this song knowing that she wouldn't get a production credit on it but she still put her as a feature on like the like the physical but how shady act I'm sorry mm. I don't wanna I'm gonna tread lightly but I know Virgo shady when I know it why it? why when I see it I know it when I know it too bitch <laughs> why is only on the booklet and not the fucking uh, on um because she because she thing. doesn't have to Shady. That's the thing. Like, I'm sorry. Miss, 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 hold up, y'all. I'm Who sorry. We're just ignoring y'all. Yes. Thank you, Antoine. Hey, hey. Had to come over to Facebook because y'all ignoring Instagram. I know we look at your phone on Instagram. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, try, Instagram. I'm sorry, girl. I'm trying not to um because you know it's hooked up to the Bluetooth, so I don't want like noise or whatnot. I'm doing it now, y'all. This is Dream Girls all over again. Libby said that. I turned my back, found music on the track. I'm on. You could have warned me, but that would have been too fine, girl. But, uh, but true tea, calm. I'm sorry. True T, calm, then address. Yeah. Like, she wasn't given the opportunity to do that. She found out. She's, she's a grown like, woman. No. She's a grown it woman. It doesn't matter. She's you, an artist, bitch. You see artist something, are sensitive. You see something. Artists are sensitive. You see something you don't like and you're a public artists, figure. You are a grown woman. Artists are sensitive. You need to control sensitive. your fucking emotions. I'm sorry. She, like, you made girl, it. You know you'll be you made it, you made it seem as, she made it seem as though it was all Beyonce's fault. She did not. Cause in the video, did we watch the same and, video? And we did. In the video, she said, "She said, I'm not placing Instagram, all." Instagram. I'm sorry, y'all. We're not ignoring y'all. Just, I, I mean, we, we, we here. We here. She said, "I'm not putting all the blame on Beyonce." She said, "The only thing that I'm mad at her about was it was stupid for her to put this out." She didn't call Beyonce stupid. She said the situation was stupid. But it wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. She didn't call Beyonce stupid because she didn't. She didn't articulate her thoughts. 
Wait. Because she pushed record as soon as she saw the picture. It don't matter. Articulate your thoughts. She need. She didn't have time to be calm and address the situation. She did. She found out. She, she could have said that. Thought about before, it before, and the guy. I don't care. Her. I don't care. She's an artist, and artists are sensitive. If somebody did that shit to me, Khalees was better than me. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I. And you know, I'm the kind of Virgo. Mm -hmm. We're two different Virgos. Mm -hmm. I'm about business. I'm about the the dough. I'm about, I did everything I was supposed to do legally. If you got a problem with that, that's your problem to deal with with Pharrell and Chad. I want to, my producer put the sample in there. I like the song. It is what it you is. Want shade if you mad about that, then you mad about that. You want another shade too? What? Beyonce allegedly did background checks on all these people that she works with. Okay. If you know that Pharrell and them allegedly did Khalees like that, why would you still hire them? This ain't the first time Beyonce has had worked with Pharrell numerous times. It doesn't matter. Like that's it's a professional relationship. My beef is with Pharrell and Chad. I'm tired of these lame ass niggas in the industry taking advantage of women. And that and listen, I totally agree. I totally agree. A lot of black artists, especially black in, women, especially back in the eighties and the nineties and the early two thousands, mm -hmm. were being literally effed in the butt when it came to their contract. You're so PG. It's like you know how they social media be tripping now. Listen, I'm a cuss. Like effed in the butt when it came to their contracts and their masters and things like that. I get it. I understand, Khalees. But at the same time. I take responsibility mm -hmm. for the stuff that I decided to do back when I was young and dumb. And a lot of the things that I decided to do when I was young and dumb mm -hmm. are are awakening now at 35 years old. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and I have to deal with that. There's a I have I bitch, I had credit cards, mm -hmm. I had friends, I had all these bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I had all the I had all these bad decisions. I had all these um, bad moves. I did all I you know I decided to do so many things that I didn't think about how it was going to affect me while I was in my forties or in my fifties. There's things that are going to happen to me in the future that I know is going to come up because I fucked up when I was 18, 19 years old. But guess what, sis? Those those things are different from what. Hey, Forrest. Khalid's situation can be changed. They can make it right with her. They can go and rene re renegotiate the contract and give her what she yes. has. Hold on, wait. Hold on. I'm, I'm not done. Mm -hmm. They can still they can go and rene renegotiate the contract and give her what she's due. So that can be changed. And somebody else on Twitter brought up a, a point too. Like she, the, the lady just lost her husband. True. So that's why she may be a little bit emotional now. It feels like everything is being taken away from her. She lost her husband. Now she got to sit up and like see that people are using the stuff that she probably wrote nine times out of ten. And that's being taken away from her too. I believe, She's frustrated. I believe that. I believe that. The I, 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 believe, I really feel like. A lot of artists, not just Khalees, mm -hmm. have gotten the bad and of the end of the stick. Especially the black women. And I feel like, and like I said earlier, I think Khalees is a fucking icon. She is. You Like, to me... She's the moment. The reason, because you know how Beyonce fans are. They went on her Instagram, you know, they attacked her, the bees, and all that. They, I, I refuse... Did they do that? I didn't see I, no well, bees. I, they always do it, so I just think it. I didn't see no bees. So I'm just like... I understand Khalees, and I respect her. That's why I didn't go. I didn't go on her Instagram and comment. And you know how I comment. I put a comment because you can see me all up in the neighborhood talk and ATL scoop. I'm all up in there. Ask Foxy Brown. And shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, Foxy Brown done blocked me a couple times. Shout out to Foxy. So I respect Khalees. I was like, okay, I'm gonna let her feel what she feel. Mm -hmm. But my personal opinion is, you didn't um, iron out your business mm -hmm. beforehand, and now it's coming to bite you in the ass. Your problem is with Chad and Pharrell. Beyonce legally mm -hmm. did what she was supposed to do. I agree. And she went through the proper channels to get that sample cleared. And she put you as the feature. Not saying that Beyonce is something like God and her um Y'all be treating Listen, like can I, can I say, can I say no. Not saying that Beyonce is some kind of God and you know putting you as a feature is, is uh should be an honor. But it's like, okay, but at the same time, any artist could have did that. 
and and just put you as a feature because they knew what happened to you. So I just feel like yes, Khalees is she does deserve how she like she feeling that I I get it. She deserves to voice her opinion, but I really feel as though being a public figure, she could have voiced that a lot better without making it look like Beyonce did something personal to her. Well, Reese, people are human and they make mistakes. The, the girl, the lady is going through. The a lady lot. is forty five years old. The lady, she's a, she's she ain't a, no forty five. Lisa is forty two. Oh wow, big difference. The lady is going through a lot right now, and I give her grace. What I understand is our, I had stuff that was taken away from me from some of the stuff that I've done before. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's recently been, you know, what you call that? A tone. Yeah. But I understand how she feels. Like, when you keep, when people keep taking stuff away from you, like, that's fucking frustrating. Yeah. I mean, Milkshake, I get it. Milkshake is one of her, the, one of the most, like, it's her, best song. Song, her best, one of her best selling songs. Like, you mean to tell me, like, she not getting a dime from it. But move. But let's let's take away the the notion that supposedly, allegedly, her and Beyonce know each other, right? Let's take that away. Mm -hmm. Take that factor away. Mm -hmm. Do I have to call every fucking artist that I that I sample? No, and you ask don't. Personally, can I use your sample even if you don't own the rights to it? You don't. Do you think Mary J. Blige? Mary J. Blige is a sampling queen. You think she called every single artist that her producer sampled? Who said that? Pope said, "Is it? It's more personal. It's more personal with with Pharrell and Chad. Like leave Beyonce out of it. I think it's more personal with Beyonce too. I I don't pay Khalees to be a liar. Like she, the, I never said she's she, a liar. She, I'm not not mean to say that. I'm saying she minds a business. She stays on form. And so does Beyonce. And, she, and so does Beyonce. But what I'm saying is, I don't think that she's lying when she say you know me. Like it ain't like you know me. Like we just know each other in past and like." Well, Khalees knows um, Kelly. Khalees knows Solange. Like, they're I close. Think. How do I wait? So, I think they're associates at best. They may not be friends, but they are Was associates. Was she mad at point. Beyonce for working with Pharrell before? She never did a video about her working with Pharrell before. But she wasn't sampled in those. But supposedly, she said that Beyonce, if you look in the video, Beyonce copied me multiple she times. Has. So, wait, did you get? did you make videos about that? And her Wonderland album... Well, it's, it's minuscule. Did you make videos about that? Why now you want to make a video about it and, and then paint Beyonce as if she did something they're saying like, oh, she she always talking about black women this, black women that. And, and did, you act like she did this on purpose to you. She did what she was supposed to do when it comes to the music business. This is the business that you're in. And you decided... At 18, 19, 20, that you were going to sign a bad deal, and you did, and then you did with it. That can be a And the only reason why it's such a big issue now, because it's Beyonce. The girl's been copying Khalees. Hold up. The girl's been copying Khalees for years. Now, all of a sudden, you want to say something after all these girls have copied you before? Now, because it's Beyonce, and it's an album coming out the next day, now you want to voice your opinions. For real? Look at the camera on me. But bro, for real, look, hold on. Get your leather face ass. No, you look good now. Come on. He look good, but I'm still on leather face. Get your leather face ass over and make it right. Nothing good is gonna come to you until you make it right. Bossy is about Beyonce. Do you think so? What's make what? it right, Neptunes. What they saying on Instagram? What was it really what? I didn't know that. What are you talking about, Antoine? Um, favorite librarian said that bar on um, Instagram. Okay, but at the same time, could it, to end the debate, two things gonna be right. To, to end the debate, I understand how Khalees feels, mm -hmm. and I respect Khalees. I love Khalees. Like I've give, I've been giving, I've been giving you. Hold on, wait. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> hold on. I've been giving you flat because this is this is my this, this is how I am, y'all. Y'all ready? Never tell me who your favorite artist is. Because I'm a menace. And I will purposely, even if I like them, <laughs> I will purposely talk bad about them to agitate you. That's just me. I'm so sorry, did I'm toxic. You did that to agitate I'm toxic. Bitch. I'm toxic. You did that to agitate I'm toxic. Like, I love Khalees. You know I love Khalees. You know I love Don Rashad. You, you know I love Normani. What do you think about Khalees? Normani! What do you, wait, what do you think? <laughs> Where y'all at? Where y'all at? What do you think about Khalees' voice, Reese? 
You love her, right? I love her clearly. What do you think about her singing? You fucking fake ass fucking fan, bitch. She's a vocalist. Anyway, <clears throat> I think Khalees has a unique voice. She does. Khalees is a major inspiration to me. She's, she she does marches to the beat of her own drum. Yes. She does whatever the fuck she wants to do. She was one of the reasons that, and she was one of the people that made me feel comfortable with being like a, a creative person while I color my hair. And being weird. I did that. this in, in, in honor I did this in honor Khalees. I hate you so much right now. I hate Drive you up. so much right now. I hate you so much right now. Bitch, you, oh. bitch, you 35. I'm fucking split ends is flying in my fucking wine, bitch. No, uh uh. Look at it. Are you trying to say, that's not my hair? <laughs> I'm shedding. I'm shedding, girls. Right. But no, at the end of the day, I, be, I feel Khalif. But at the same time, I, I feel like she sh she could have worked. She could have given some time to marinate and really She didn't have about. the time. She didn't have the time. She didn't have the time. Can I say that? Can I say that? Can I say that though? Can I say what you? I know what you were about to say. She, she found out Wednesday. Before. But you still had you still a grown woman. You could have still said they were like okay. So Beyonce sampled me. Mm -hmm. Legally, Chad and Pharrell had the right to that song. Mm -hmm. I. Let me think about this. Let me put this in. Let me compartmentalize this. Let me voice my opinion without making it look like Beyonce did something slighted to me. She called Beyonce stupid. No, she didn't call me. She said the situation was stupid. She didn't call Beyonce stupid. But anyway, let me ask you a question. Have you ever been so frustrated at work to the point where like it feel like your homework day is like trash and like every fucking day? Have you ever hung up on somebody at work? Yes. So this compared her to how Khalees fail and people keep stealing from her. She's frustrated, bitch. She didn't get time to, to sit down and be calm and think about it. She found out Wednesday that she was being sampled. Thursday, the eve of the album, she said something. She didn't have time. I don't think what she said was disrespectful. I don't think... Okay, we we'll, we'll agree to disagree. I just feel like she could have had... I love Beyonce down. Boots. I think she could have just worded it better to where it didn't seem like... Because it almost came off as if Beyonce did something malicious to her. And I'm not trying to defend Beyonce like I'm some kind of crazy fan. Mm -hmm. But it just is what it is. Just like when Monique came out with that whole Netflix thing. Because you didn't get your deal, I gotta cancel my subscription. Cause you didn't get your deal. That's that's what that's that's the feel that I got. Like the girl. So we supposed to, so we so we supposed to look at Beyonce as this evil person, and it all and the only thing it did was give Beyonce's hater Beyonce's haters ammo to be like Beyonce out here stealing from people, blah, 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 and not giving them credit. Blah, blah, blah. Like girl, it's not like that. And the girl got her deal, Monique. She did. Congratulations. I <laughs> Cause I was with you from day one, and when she got her deal, everybody was like, "Yes, I know she deserved it." I'm tired of these flip you wanted, to, you wanted to take shots, Liv, Libby? Oh, no, Libby. You trying to get me drunk. These flip floppity ass fucking bitches be jumping on other sides. Like, I was with Monique from the jump. See, Antoine, she did, find, she did find out last minute, but she definitely could have marinated for a bit. Yes. Antoine, and you, Antoine have you ever had a bad day at work? You, he just right. he watched the video, girl. He just watched it. He did your whole analogy. At <laughs> he heard your whole analogy. <laughs> You don't gotta do that Antoine, shit again. Antoine, have you ever had a bad day? He already heard your analogy. Well, they already, I don't know your pronouns. They, have they you ever felt like walking out of your job and cussing your manager the fuck out? That's what imagine how Khalees feels when she keeps getting stolen from. Especially, I know Khalees, I know Khalees co-wrote Milkshake, bitch. I know she did. No, I know, I know. I listen, know listen, listen, listen. I really feel as though Khalees wrote her songs. I think she had a hand in production. I, I definitely believe that. But you put your career in people's hands with because you were because allegedly you were getting some good. But when the girls speak out and the girls and the girls call wait, but that's like, not our fault. Like, wait, wait, that's wait, not our fault. wait, 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 that's not my but fault. When the girl, but when the that's girl, your fault, girl. girl. When the girl, that's your fault. Wait, that's, that's your fault. But when the girls <laughs> speak out, and the girls speak out about the biases going on with these lame ass niggas in the industry, 
then y'all don't want to take their side. And then the cycle continues. Like something needs to happen in the music industry where people need to people need their rights. I I know A. Marie wrote on um, All I Have. And if you go through the credits, it's only Rich Harrison. No, what name is on there? Only one time, one or two times. All the other songs? The, um, Rich Harrison, Rich Harrison, Rich Harrison. Were you, were you a, I don't want to take another shot. I'm already Libby's to take a shot. Libby, I don't want to take another shot. I'm drunk. Libby is the boss. What they say? What, what, what's that? Something needs to happen, and, and I'm tired of when I get you. I really do, but I always, but I weigh the, the pros, pros and the cons, cons to my reaction. We can't read, right? Because the thing moved. Pros and cons to my reaction. That's one thing I can control in any situation, so I do my best. Yes, you can control your emotions. Have you ever been had a bad day at work? This is for Libby. <laughs> you already, they already heard. They already. What's your pronouns, Antoine? They already heard that damn. Um, Does your man have get on your nerves? Here. Have this is for. I'm just a little bit. Just for Libby. Cause Libby said so. Libby on Facebook. Girl, you know I was lying. Pull me the fuck up. Another, another, another one. Sunday fun day. Another one. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're gonna end. We're gonna end this debate with this shot. We gotta get into shout the out. To, we have to get into the actual review of the album Renaissance Act One. Shout out to Khalees and Beyonce. We love y'all. Chad, Pharrell. I love. I love them too. But get it together. A tongue of my girl. Oh, our 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 Virgo friend Lamage said it sucks because the girls are talented, but she was reaching. Yes, she wasn't reaching. Get out of here. She was. This is gonna end the debate. So here's the here's the here's the end of the debate. Khalees is an icon. Beyonce is an icon. Beyonce is an icon. Khalees was upset. She had every right to be upset. She just misplaced her upsetness. I'm not cheers into that, bitch. She misplaced her upsetness. Khalees is an icon. Beyonce is an icon. Beyonce, make it right. Just, just and guess what? Her. I don't shut up. Talk to her. Make it right behind the scenes. We don't need to know. And for real, give my girl her money. But you know what's going to really end this debate? That's rich people problems. Period. Bitch. It's rich people problems. Rich I'm people. i trying to get a fucking car, bitch. Khalees got a whole farm where she grows her own crops and, and slaughters her own animals. Beyonce has... That fool be looking good as fuck. Beyonce crazy, is a bitch. goddamn billionaire and Khalees has her own studio on her farm. We live in a, a two-bedroom apartment in Sandy Springs, Georgia. Bitch, at least it's style. Luckily... But anyway, let's get into the album. Let's get into the review of Renaissance Act One. Girl, I'm loud. Them shots got me loud. Thank you, Libby. Libby, if I'm slurring through this live, it's your fault. Everybody on Instagram, put your hearts up so I know you're there. I know we've been ignoring y'all. No, we haven't. I see the hearts. I'm, 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 bitch, I'm following. Rich people, yes, rich people problems, Libby. They, them. Stop asking about that bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he, him, they, them. Okay, great. I love Antoine. Antoine is Antoine is a vibe. I have to I have to be careful with pronouns. I'm being very respectful with pronouns. Like I need to. You have to. I just be asking the girl. And it don't now. take much. Let's say what's your pronouns. Antoine, you still buying stars, girl? Thank you, babe. Antoine, boo. Okay. Antoine. So do you want to? Okay. So what do you think about the overall album? Overall, then we'll get into our top five. Overall, I give the album a good seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Okay. I think the album was good. It was a vibe, bitch. I was, I had a couple drinks. Mm -hmm. The album do make you want to do this though. <clears throat> yeah, I wanted to snort a lot of coke, so bitch. But it was good though. It, it, it. I, I felt that Beyonce was genuine in her homage to the black, gay the community. black gay culture, and I, mm -hmm. I love that. But this time, yeah. Um, I wanna I wanted some more like a little uh, some like slow songs, like more like a R like a you got me. But I think that's gonna come with Act Two. I feel like Act Two could be video. Somebody said the, uh, there's three acts. So Act One is the album. Act Two is gonna be the visual, and Act Three is gonna be the concert. So I think if this, if you look up, bitch. You already paid for the concert tickets when you bought the, the, the box set. If you look up, 
If you lucked up, you might have that concert ticket in there for you. And Beyonce is a Virgo, so she worked it out. What do you think? Um, overall, like, I'm not the kind of Beyonce fan that thinks that everything she does is gold. And I don't feel like this is her best album. Because, you know, I have a an, an affinity and love for B-Day. And they just sing love. Those two, the first two albums to me were the and most. four. Four was good too. Yeah, so Dangerously in Love, B-Day, and Four were Beyonce's best bodies of work. Mm -hmm. Sonically, looks, image, all mm -hmm. that, which is perfect. Tours, all that. But I definitely feel like this is Beyonce's first experimental album. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like she really experimented with a different culture. Because okay. she's done experiment with R&B, hip-hop, rap, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But she's never delved into house. She's never delved in... You know, we always joke about Beyonce is not a club girl. Beyonce going to be hip-hop or R&B, that's it. She did it. We always joke about that. Yeah. But with this album, I feel like she really tapped into a more of a clubby dance, vocals. And even vocally, she's doing some crazy oh. shit with her vocals in this album. Let's do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Plastic off the sofa <laughs> wore me out. And then we have to say, bitch, hold up. Let's take it down after. <laughs> like Beyonce really showcased. Get the fuck out of here. She yeah. really showcased her vocals and what she can do. And we all know that Beyonce's voice has changed. Yeah, that's beautiful though. Remember when she was much more in the rafters? Now she's more of like a it's a deeper and richer. Was she was in the Raptors? She was in the Raptors. Beyonce was loud as fuck, bitch. Do not tell me she wasn't loud as fuck. Loud in the Raptors. B-Day. Loud thought... and in the Raptors are two different things. Kiki Wyatt, Jennifer Hudson, they're in the Raptors. Beyonce is a fucking vocal. Can we not bring up Kiki Wyatt? I'm just saying that those kind of singers are in the Raptors. Beyonce's been in the Raptors. Let's not fucking sit here and act like she had that bitch. Wait, right. Right. That girl has sang... Circles. When? The first, what, 15 years of her career? Destiny Child and her solo you shit? Was in the anyway. <laughs> I feel it was a very experimental album. Hold on, wait. Jay the God said it was I got a swing 9 out of 10. It was a beautiful journey. Who's that? Jay the God. Okay. AJ the God. So I just I just feel like it was a it was experimental. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the nod to the LGBT community, the Black LGBT community. We had T. S. Madison on the album. We had Grace Jones. We had um, Miss Honey. Uh, Moy Moy was it Moy Renee? Miss Miss Honey. Miss Honey. Miss Honey. We had um some some ballroom legends. Tina Marie was. Ooh. Tina Marie is. I, I didn't hear it, but Tina Marie is sampled she somewhere. Said, she said ooh la la la. That um, what's song. who is that? Oh my god. Ooh. There is a prominent. Big Frida. Big Frida. There's a prominent it, it, Instagram and Facebook. If y'all know who I'm talking about, there's a prominent ballroom commentator, mm -hmm. and I can't think of his fucking name or their name. They are iconic in the ballroom scene. He was on that. He was on the song. Um, pure honey. <laughs> Commentating. I, I I'm sorry. They I forgot their name, but I love them. They they're iconic in the ballroom scene. Yeah. So she really, I love how she gave a nod to the LGBT black community, and also she had some disco in there. She had some um, some alternative like even the way they even the way the producers sampled some of the stuff. It was just like. Wow, and she gave she paid homage to Southern like culture. Yeah, Southern so culture. So she went from New Orleans, mm -hmm. then she did Houston, Kilo Ali. Then she did Atlanta with Kilo Ali. That dun, 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 dun. that's Kilo Ali. Mm -hmm. So I was, well, you know when that came on, bitch, I got hired, bitch. I, I automatically, just, bitch. Um, then she gave. I don't think Florida was in it though. Florida's never in it. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> no shout out to Florida. Um, she gave homage to like Southern culture, so she did that, and I think that she took us on a journey and gave us a feel of like each one of her, al her albums that she came out with. I think you had um, she did kind of meld all the albums. I think together. you had a lot of Beyonce in that album, her self-titled album. Mm -hmm. I think you had a lot of B Day in that album. Mm -hmm. 
You had a lot of um, Black is King in that album. So I think she gave you a little bit of everything. Let's talk about the influences in the album, though. Mm -hmm. I heard some Prince, some Vanity Six. I heard some... Um, who else are? Uh, you know what? I, I agree with this one. This one person reviewed the album, and I agree with their. Cause you know how I said I think this is Beyonce's Madonna music album. Mm -hmm. Cause you know how music album Madonna was like really experimenting with like different sounds. Mm -hmm. It was it wasn't one sound on the album. I feel like Beyonce was different was dipping in different sounds with this. This is her music album. This is her Michael Jackson off the wall. You think so? Off the Wall is a dance album. This is her the Off the Wall. Beyonce, listen, yeah, I knew I told you this when we were talking. Beyonce, I, I, she probably did this because we ain't seen the visual yet. But I want her to tell a story since she's talking about like the black gay culture. Mm -hmm. I want her to tell a story about a black gay love affair from the seventies and bringing on all to the or a trans love affair. That too. Mm -hmm. I, I oh I really, yes. I, yeah I really feel like the visuals come very first off I'm very surprised that mm. she didn't have a visual with anything yet because she's trying to shock y'all like she, she that she expects she knows that we did we, we expect, expect that that we expect like the visual to come like I, that's why I said she's gonna give it to us until Virgo season like every weekend is gonna be something I I would love to see the visuals. I know the visual. I think that's coming next weekend. I know the visual is gonna be crazy. Next Friday is coming. You think so? Like it. Next Friday is coming. Or before? It's coming next Friday. But let's get into your top, um, <laughs> your top five songs. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> but you gonna transition, bitch. You. <laughs> Let's get to your top five song. Okay. Hold on, I'm going to pull them up. I'll bring up the list, Marie. Okay, so here's your top five right here. Yeah, so my top five is Move, mm -hmm. Plastic on the, so the, the Sofa, mm -hmm. Virgo's Groove, mm -hmm. it's real Virgo. So oh I'm mad at that. Virgo's Groove is on the list no matter Beyonce, what. Beyonce was horny as fuck on that song. She was. Anyway, um, Pure Honey mm -hmm. and Church Worry. Okay. So what do you like the most about Plastic Off the Sofa? Bitch, the fucking vocals. Crazy. I think that's Beyonce's, like, I think that's Beyonce is that's in her, her pocket. pocket on that type of song. Like, vocally, like, she, uh, the girls ain't really fucking with Beyonce like that vocally. I want to hear. People, hold on, wait. People, people always want to, like, pit Beyonce to be, like, uh, um, just the performer. Mm -hmm. She's a vocalist. The girls ain't fucking with Beyonce vocally on their best thing. She's a vocalist. Them riffs and runs that she did in fucking... And them harmonies. Bitch. Them riffs and runs and harmonizing and at the same time. And her lower register is like sick. Libby said the, the, the shots are working. You did it on purpose, Libby. <laughs> Libby girl. Libby girl. You knew we were mad. I took another one. No. No um, shots. No, but I think... I think um, plastic on the sofa is like sonically is. Nah. I want to hear. I want to hear Yeba. Oh my god! On man. that, them them rhymes that she was doing. Ah, ah, ah. There's something. There's something about plastic off the sofa. Mm -hmm. Was just like it just sounds sonically. It's the most beautiful song on the album. Yeah. The way she sang that song and the way the harmonies and the runs and the riffs oh my god and the way it transitions into this song it feels like everything opens the fuck up can we talk about the transitions in the album though how each song goes into each other amazing i mean it's not it's been done before but i like i like the way he does everything no no the way energy goes into um break my soul i can't listen now that the album is out, I have to listen to Energy before I listen to Break My Soul. It has to go into each other. You know the, you know a song that is, is my top, but I didn't feel like it was a top when I heard it? Move! Grace you Jones. Didn't like, you didn't like Move. Bitch, Grace Jones came through. You didn't like Move, remember? I didn't. You didn't like Move. Grace Jones came through on Move, bitch. The, the lady is like 75 years old. Yeah, she's old. Grace Jones carried that whole song, bitch. From the what chanting. Are you? 
What do you like about pure honey? It's just like it's gay as clamp, yeah. bitch. Bitch, I wanna I wanna start mm. doom, doom, doom. Whoa! <laughs> pure honey this my makes us wanna go for everything. Whoa! Just pattern oh, up. We don't, do, we don't do coke. But we just joking. We do coke. Shouts out to you, that's your thing. We don't do coke. If you do coke. That is a drug shame. Girl, no, girl. Let people do what they do. We do coke shops. Do, do what you do. Go on, um, you can, girl. Virgo's groove. I mean, self explanatory, bitch. She did her thing. She was horny as fuck on this. Virgo's groove is probably one of the best songs. Let me tell you. Plastic on the sofa, it goes into Virgo's groove. Yeah. Plastic on the sofa, she was telling, she was reading Jay Z, bitch. She was like, bitch, I know that like, you don't want to see me leave and then you have temple tantrums. <laughs> But I, bitch, I'm here, I'm, I'm, here for, I'm here for you. And when Virgo's rules, you like, this is how I want it. I so want Sabrina Claudio, if y'all don't know. She's her, racist. She's colorist. Same thing. Well, she said colorist things. She's colorist. But she did her thing on Plastic on the Soap. Yeah. And and shout out to my girl, Sid. Sid was there. Raphael Sadiq. Sid came Beyonce through. even has Skrillex. You know, Skrillex produced energy. Beyonce got a whole, the, the, that fucking credit, it goes like this, like a movie credit, bitch. That's not even like an R&B hip hop. I want to have that much money to where, DJ. I want to have that much money to where I can just hire a whole bunch of people. Right for me. And then bitch, produce for me. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, girl. I'm sitting right here, but I know she has, I know she has input on it. But do what you got to do, girl. But do what you got to do. I'm sitting right here. I like it. I had about? a bad day. If my car was repossessed, yeah, Alien, Alien Superstar is very print. I'm trying to get into that. And Vanity Six, I love Alien. I'm trying to get into Alien Superstar. Plastic on the sofa and Virgo's groove. Oh, yeah, yeah, amazing. Um, it's a clean nine out of ten. Beautiful journey. Um, this is definitely a pop album. But AJ the God is going from Facebook to Instagram. You said it on. I said it. I, I said it. I read it. It's so Prince, right? I am. Oh, we read that already. But here's my, you know my top five? What's your top five? My top five. Libby, I'm, I'm Libby, I'm Libby. This is no particular order. Mm -hmm. My top five is Church Girl. Uh-huh. <laughs> do you think that, do you think you that, that name 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 top 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 girl. so Church Girl, Energy, Virgo's Groove, Plastic Off the Sober, and Cozy. Cozy is my shit. Comfortable in my skin. Oh, copyright. I love that. My, okay. Now, you know I'm a heathen. Church girl, man. So you, want like you know I'm a heathen. In a circle, man. You know I'm a heathen. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I heard that gospel sample, you like gospel music? No. Here's the thing. As soon as I heard that gospel sample over top of a, a twerk beat, you know I was I was already there, girl. Cause you know I love a good um I wonder if You know I love a good Antichrist bitch. I wonder if Twinkie heard the song. She has no idea what that song's about. There's no way. I think Twinkie do. You think Twinkie would get in there? I think Twinkie. You think Twinkie is a church girl? I think Twinkie threw it in the circle. Bitch. You think Twinkie is a church girl? I think she's a she No, girl. Denise is a church girl. Denise, th Denise definitely threw it in That song place. is about Denise Clark, bitch. Because she was that, she was that other. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, okay. Yeah, so I love, I love church. Church girl gets me going. What do you like about energy? Khalid song. <laughs> <laughs> I wish energy was longer. Mm -hmm. I love the chorus and the hook because it has the, the, the milkshake sample in the in that. It just gives you like, did you hear it? Hold up. Yeah, I heard it now. Okay. Listen, Energy, the whole album, but Energy in particular, in particular, is in particularly. <laughs> treadmill <laughs> approved. Was you sad saying on the Bitch! I know everybody in Planet Fitness since Friday has been like, who is this F word? Have you been in Cause I've been, I've been Naomi, I've been Naomi Campbell since Friday. 
Have you seen another F word that was on the train? Yes. Just felt like there was a There's down. plenty of other F words in the gym listening to Renaissance at one. Because I saw the I saw the I saw the model walks. I saw the the secret Vogue moves. Cause I do it. And you know the gay boy is walking like this on the cookie. So did you see? Yeah. This? Do you know did you walking see, from the this? treadmills to the weight part of the gym, listening to energy? You couldn't tell me I wasn't no goddamn Naomi Campbell bitch. And that's a long walk. Not Tyra Banks. No. Tyra Banks is too bouncy. Tyra Banks is too bouncy. I'm a, I'm an actual model walk, okay? I got titties. I'm Tyra I don't do commercial you walks. You ain't got titties no more. I'm a high time. fashion walker, okay? Thank you. You ain't got titties no more. That's why you're not named the camera with. I got titties. It's a lot of cup. And oh, the titties are still there, girl. <laughs> this is a little pancakey. It's okay. <laughs> My titties are sitting <laughs> up. But no, I love energy. Eat, cause the the milkshake sample goes off in that song. <laughs> but you heard it, right? Yeah, cause the guy, the, 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 the producer it. guy, on, the, the the producer guy on TikTok broke it down to where the sample is, and I heard it after he did it. What? The wine. What's the more? Wine? Yes, please. Wind me down. So, but no, can I talk about? Okay, I love Church Girl. I love Energy, mm -hmm. but. Virgo's Groove puts me into Studio 54. Coke is everywhere. Alcohol is running. There's a horse in the middle of the dance floor. The girls are in the balcony having it. Everybody's sweaty. They're wearing, they're wearing sparkling outfits. Everybody's hair is feathered. Like, um, what's her name? Farrah Fawcett. It, it, it's, giving, it's giving disco. Bitch, look. Bitch. When Virgo's group comes on, it goes. Dun, dun, boom, boom, boom. That, that, that funky is off. Oh my god, I love a good funky beat. Pass that wine, bitch. I love a good funky song. You know I do. So Virgo's groove is the stuff. I live for America. Oh, I, don't I don't like. Wait, what? What? I'm not a big fan of. of I'm not a big fan of America has a problem. I skipped that one. Um, I get it. I like it, but I it's, get it. It's not like something I want to like. I go to right away. I get it. What's up? A little bit, yeah. I can be something for me. Um, so, this last one, Ladaz is here. Hey, Ladaz. Hey, Ladaz. Wait, is it pink? Whatever it is, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. It's magenta. <laughs> magenta or no? It's fuchsia. The bottle. Yeah, fuchsia. 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 Your bottle's at Fuchsia. I just saw the bottle earlier. You fucking nosy ass fucking bitch. It's Fuchsia. But no, um, of course Virgo's Groove is everything to me. Um, another, not, we already talked about Plastic Off the Sofa. Plastic Off the Sofa, the vocals are crazy, the harmonies are crazy, the thing she did with her voice on that song was, was insane. Up. Can we get into Beyonce's lower register though? I love she that she got older. That. She, bitch, in some songs she was like, oh, oh. I was like, she went down there. I think that Beyonce's in the in the space that yeah. Brand, like for example, Brandy's voice has changed since she was younger, mm -hmm. but it's still rich. They take it's, care of their voice. They take care of their voice. It's changed. It's not as high as it used to be. Remember back in Beyonce's early days, she was mezzo soprano like a mother. Virgo Grooves gives me elevated blow. Yes! 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 Yes, yes, yes. yes. Our Virgo friend, yes! It's very blow. Yeah, you know, Alice said he he did should have gave should have been a single. Who? He did. Let's do honorable mentions. Hold on, we, 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 talk, we talk about um, Cozy real quick. Okay. I like Cozy because it's cunt. <laughs> cozy is cunt and it has a message. I'm comfortable in my skin. What she say? Something. But she still shit the one do this, bitch. Comfortable, cause I feel that I'm comfortable in my skin, girl. I find myself sexy. I don't have to worry about you finding me sexy. That's why I'm sexy. That's why it's coke music. Was you remember Trina was like when you do them edibles and you be rubbing it. Yeah, <laughs> you be rubbing on your thighs. That's thigh. edible music, bitch. I wanna, I wanna do an edible. I mean, um, because people follow me. I'm gonna do a CBD. 
and listen to it. Right. All right. We don't do drugs over here. We don't do drugs. We don't do drugs. Dare. Dare, bitch. <laughs> I dare you to put some fucking weed in my face. Oh, no! I'm not going to smoke it, bitch. I'm going to resist it. Get I'm the fuck away from me, bitch. No, we don't do drugs We don't do here. drugs. Drugs are whack. Anyway, I don't have a mention. So you met, no, you know what? I'm gonna honor no money. <laughs> the, you know what? We'll get into that later. Okay. I don't have a mention. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Hey, Vince. I feel like Lizzo belongs on Cuff. Yes. Cuff it. Yes. Lizzo belongs on Lizzo. Yes. Lizzo needs to do the real. Beyonce. Beyonce. You know she, you know she snoops. Beyonce and Lizzo. Put, get on cuff together. Cuff get it. on cuff. Is it cuff or cuff it? Cuff it. Cuff Lizzo, it. Lizzo, get on cuff it. I don't care if you guys just go in the studio and record a verse. Because I know Beyonce. Beyonce, Beyonce I need you to get Lizzo on cuff it. Please. Who's going to be the rapper now? Lizzo. Yeah. Spit some fucking bars, bitch. And I hear Yabba on passing off the sofa. That be so dope. She should do a she should do a remake. Everybody make me cry. She should do a remake. L Yabba should remake Plastic Off the Sofa. I overall though, the album is like amazing. I just want I want more I want more like slower songs. Yeah. I got like one or two ballads. I want to hear this. Oh, James the... said we're both sexy. Thank you, James. Thank you, babe. Thank you, James. We're both sexy. Girl, I'm drunk. I ain't gonna do all that. I feel Thank like you, now some of, some of the Beyonce fans are saying it's her best album. That, that will touch. No, it's not her best album, but it's definitely one of her best creative albums. I think she really experimented. I think this, this visual about to fuck us up. The visual is going to tear our hair from, from the roof. And from what I heard on Twitter, because you know the beat the Beehive is like they different. I heard that, like, with the visual, it's gonna be like a little, like, ballroom scene. And how I know it was because, like, only a couple months ago, I was like, thank you, Beyonce. I was like, thank you, Beyonce, for what? Oh, if there's a visual coming, we're gonna see Laomi. See we're gonna Madison. see T.S. Madison. We're gonna see some, we're gonna see Frida, Big Frida. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see some prominent ballroom girls. Mm -hmm. Including Laomi. Laomi is one of the most. Oh, Laomi is going to be in it. Is the iconic, the iconic ballroom girl. She's We're going to see a lot of the girls in these visuals. I, I bet you. Shout out to my trans sisters and my trans brothers. Yes. Like I know that it may seem like a, a, a lot is going on within the trans community, mm -hmm. but I'm loving that like people are like being more open minded. Yeah. Like, I love that. Like, shout out to them. Shout out. Shout out to T.S. Madison. Shout out to my trans girls and my trans boys. We love you over here at Burger wow, Hot Spot. Wow. Okay? We love you over here. We, we stand we, with we stand, you. We stand with you, bitch. Okay? Nigga. We stand with you. All the time. Yeah. All day, bitch. The fuck? No transphobia over here on Burger Hot Spot, honey. All love. But at the end of the day... Not her, not her best album, but top three. I don't know. Ah, I say top five. I say top five. How many albums she have? They just seen love. B day. I am Sasha Fierce. I am Sasha Fierce. Be up four. Four. Beyonce. Beyonce. Do we are we counting the gift? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The gift. Yes. No. It's, it's this four. Is, it's seven. It's four. Then it's Beyonce. No, what's after Beyonce though? The gift. No, it was one before. No, it was the gift. No, it was one before that. But she did the visual. Uh... Oh, lemonade! Lemonade, bitch. I feel like a horrible Beyonce fan. How did I forget about lemonade? At least I remember. The beehive is gonna tear my ass up. Bitch, can somebody tear my ass up? Please, because the monkey pop got me fucked up. Ah! I want to win. I, I haven't had relations in this house yet, man. The monkey, let me tell you, sidebar. 
2020, January uh-huh. through March, I was ready to be a hoe. Mm-hmm. I had lost some weight. I was ready to throw this ass back. In the circle? Or throw this pelvis forward. Ooh. Okay. Good time. Mm-hmm. So, as soon as I was ready, as soon as, soon as I was ready to throw that ass back or throw that pelvis forward, COVID came. And I couldn't do it. Okay? As soon as COVID calmed her ass down and I'm vaccinated, I'm, you know, I'm fully vaccinated. You literally had a date. I had a date that fell through. So, I'm vaccinated. I was ready to get it on. I got, I got my four vaccines, bitch. I'm ready to go out here and, and, and have somebody's son. And here comes monkeypox. Because we're not doing that. And, I already got and monkey pox is, a, is and monkey pox is affecting us the most. I ain't got time for it. I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna be a nun. Well, I'm gonna be a nun. I already got kilo of skin, so I'm gonna be a nun. If I get my oh, you gonna be a big old bubble if you get monkey pox, bitch. bitch. Be one pus the filled key, bubble the, right here. The kilo is walk, is crawl. So the fucking monkey pox. Oh no! Nah. I'm gonna. I'm going out. I'm about to be a nun. Thank you, Earth. Thank you, universe. You, don't you just want some like good? Mm-hmm. I just want some good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gotta mm-hmm. say this to it. You gotta say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want some. I just want some good. Anyway, this is what Beyonce mm-hmm. was doing on no, Bar- some, Bar-Bos I want, Room. I want some good. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Go from octave. Uh. I want some good. Uh. No, it ain't good until you like. What? <laughs> or you say this. Oh, fuck. Uh, you don't want to cuss. I said, uck. Bitch, fuck. Nigga. We're never going to get monetized. We're never going to get monetized. We're, gonna, it's saying, it's saying YouTube, We're never going to get monetized YouTube. with him. It's not YouTube. I want a good. Uh, I want that. I want a good. I haven't gone uh, in a long time. You want vocals? I haven't gone there. One more time. I haven't been there in a long time. I wanted it. Oh, that good old deep. Oh, I feel like Maya. Um, fuck me. I feel like Maya. Um, what's her name? Maya Rudolph. Bah. Bah. Beyonce. Bah. Burr! Bubba Bubba! I got humble! Maya! Rudolph is funny as hell! She said, she said, she said, she said, she Queen Bay! Queen Bay! Bay out say! Bay! Burr! Bubba Burr! But anyway, mm-hmm. so back to Beyonce. The album, I you what would you say it was? A what out of ten? A seven out of ten? Out of seven. I give it about a, I give it about I would say an eight out of ten. A who? An eight out of ten. I said seven. I think because you know I'm I'm gay. I'm like super gay. Mm-hmm. I'm super gay. You say I love everything gay. You say see. I love everything rainbow. I love everything homosexual. I love everything LGBT. And this album gave me what I needed. It it fed my gayness. I feel full. Wait I feel till that, wait till that visual will come, bitch. When that I'm gonna become a fucking rainbow when that visual comes out. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to manifest into a rainbow. Can okay, you feel it by Jackson Vaughn when when Marlon was like this, or Oprah was like this? I'm oh, this time my rainbow. I'm gonna give you Jackson Five, girl. Let's put some extra. I'm gonna give you this <laughs> green <laughs> rainbow, bitch. But anyway, we love the album. Yeah, it was good. It was not her best album, but we definitely yeah. love the album. Um, we definitely agree that Khalees. Felt the way she felt. Keep it light. You have something. You feel like her expression was okay. I felt like her expression was not. But that's just a difference of opinion. 
We love Khalees over here at Virgo as fuck. We love Beyonce over here at Virgo as fuck. Mm-hmm. Both of them are icons and legends. Pharrell and Chad, you my you my sis are residuals. We negotiate that contract and give my girl her thirty three percent because she deserves it. Cause I know y'all ain't wrote milkshake by y'all self. Look, at Libby put the bees on. Cause I forgot about lemonade. Um. AJ and said, the visual is going to heal my spirit, bitch. I might cry. I, I might like like cry, too. Vince, hey, let me, hey Vince. Vince is here. And so, I want to have some CBD when I do it. Because it's legal. CBD. Well, you, CBD. <laughs> and CBD only. Yeah. And look, look. look. CBD on CBD. And a good cigarette. We don't do drugs over here. We don't do drugs. We don't, we don't do drugs. We don't do drugs. You don't do drugs. <laughs> I don't do drugs. Drugs are horrible. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just playing y'all. But no. We love the album. We love Khalees. We love Beyonce. But guess what? Can we... Wait. Can we get into the greatness... Musically, that's coming out. We have Iowa. Iowa. Oh, wait. Wait. Iowa. Chris. Wait. Wait. Iowa. You just, you just effed me up with that. Iowa. Okay. Iowa. Listen, everybody on Facebook, everybody on Instagram, listen to this. If you haven't heard of Iowa, her, her name is spelled I-Y-L-A. I-Y-L-A. She is amazing. She has a new video out called F-O-H. That video is crazy. She has a whole album, two al- an EP and an she album. She has an EP, an album. She has videos. It is good music. And you know what I love about Isla? Isla is, she, her music is like R&B-ish. Like R&B with a little bit of hip hop influences inside mm-hmm. of it. But she's not appropriate. And she's not trying hard at all. She's not trying it's to be black. It's what she likes. Yeah, she's not trying to be black. She ain't trying to steal from the culture. It's just who she is. She's not sitting up there wearing cornrows and dreads and all that. She is who she is. You know what I'm saying? So we love Isla over here. What's going on with the Instagram over there? Just please wait a few minutes before you try again. Try again what? The try again the what, bitch? Your account has temporary lock for what? We need to take this. Oh, girl. Get the fuck out of my face. Hold up, y'all. I'll do that in a minute. But anyway, you do it. I, I, okay, you talk about Isla. Isla came out with a, with a video called FOH. I suggest y'all go and y'all check that out because it's every fucking thing from the visuals, the vocals, the song, like it's everything. And she's a gorgeous girl. She's gorgeous. And she writes. And I I feel I feel like she is redeeming herself from fucking 2020. But she's supposed to have came out in 2020. I was a fan. I was a fan of Isla in 2019. Because I was dating a guy that liked her. And dating? I was dating a guy that liked her. You said dating. I was dating a guy that liked her. And he introduced me to her. Because you know damn well I introduced you to Isla. Uh, oh, no, I introduced, I introduced you to Isla. You did not. Hold on, we you. both knew about it. You I introduced you to Isla. Yes, I did. I introduced you to you Isla didn't. all the way in 2018. You didn't. Yes, the fuck I did. You didn't. I knew about Isla way before you even said something about her. These light skinned bitches be one to These light skins? They be one, they be one to take credit. Bitch, I introduced you to Isla in 2018. Because I'll play, I'll play you that song. I'll play you that song. Chris. Juice. I never heard of her before 2019. Never. Lies. Girl, they saying we... Oh well, they said we did. Cuss? No, it's... They think... Because I'm on, I'm on Instagram on here and Instagram right there. So they think we're, it's like a, a hack. Girl, get the fuck out of here, Instagram, bitch. Let me get a shot. Anyway, she has a good project out. Ouch. You want a shot? No. You want a shot? I mean, I'm just thinking. Um. But yeah. 
She has a good project, and I think y'all should get into it. She's amazing. She, she really is. She really is. Like, Instagram be Instagram. Libby, I blame you. It's your fault, Libby. It's your fault, Lori. How is Libby? <laughs> Cause Libby set this shit up for it to happen. You but anyway, you could have called me first, Libby, but when you did that, <laughs> fucking like let it settle. Oh, no. no, but um, I I like really gives me what I want as far as like somebody that um. Has an artistic freedom and like they're still like, what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> she's a she's a good she's artist. Good. She's good. That's that's it. She's good. Everything's good. Start this shit over. How do I? You still starting over? Don't shout. You better not, bitch. Bitch, you better not leave me, bitch. Why is that we can't log in? You better not, come on. We having technical difficulties, but bitch, we style, you trying to roll with it. Calm the fuck on. I need 10 people in here. Why can't I log into Instagram? What happened? Hold on, wait. Let me try it, Reese. No, don't do it. Let's just end it. Let's just, let's just do it. <laughs> we'll put Instagram. Facebook is still here. Facebook is still here. But anyway, we love Ayla. Uh -huh. Okay, we love Beyonce. We love Khalees. Hope they can work it out. What else you got going? So we, we got some stuff coming up. So August 22nd, Virgo season 22nd. starts. Yeah. No, 22nd. 22nd. Yeah. Virgo starts. Uh -huh. Be on the lookout for us. August 22nd. <laughs> we got some stuff cooking up. We have some things coming. We're gonna come out full force. Um, shout out to our friend Franklin. Okay, modern day hippie. My sis is doing Franklin that Harris photography is. on Instagram. He's gonna he's gonna do our promo shots. We have a lot of stuff going on. We're coming, y'all. Like it's been a, it's been a long six months, but we've been working through that, and we want to come back bigger and better. Because we're going to always give it to y'all. We're going to give it to y'all. This is not going to be this. We're going to have a whole new background. This ain't going to be this when we come. It's going to be professional looking, so hopefully. So you better tune in. Be the fuck ready, bitch. Can you stop cussing so much? I can't. It feels so good. It's so therapeutic. <laughs> you motherfucker, <laughs> bitch. But anyway, we got to end this video. We're 17 minutes past time. Are we? But I don't know. Wait, let me say. She said, "Yes, yeah, set the shots." Just say things. Oh. Just hit the new comments. <laughs> Chris, I put some editing at the end. Like, one year later, TikTok. Uh, yeah, Antoine is Antoine is alive. We love Antoine. We Libby. love Antoine. No more shots, Libby. It's been Libby, I got mine. Look. Sean said, "I love her." Come on, Kalisa. Oh, Isla. Some of Isla, probably. Yeah. Khalees was reaching hard. The beef was with Pharrell. That's true. James. No, she wasn't. It's true. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It was a, this was an emergency Virgo as fuck podcast. Le Libby. Live. Libby. Libby. You're not going to get us drunk on every You have us drunk. And I blame you. Come up to... Sandy Springs, Libby, and, and let's go trip with us. Period. Because Libby like the final things in life. I love Libby. Oh, Libby, is, know, Libby, wait. Libby got money. I don't know, bitch. My budget Libby ain't got ready. money. Libby my, will break. Wait, Libby. my budget ain't ready for Libby. Libby will break a lease. Period. Libby will buy a drink. Be like, bitch, be like Libby, bitch. Libby is glad. Why live your fucking life? And you be fucking sad when you live your life and be good. Bitch. Bring your ass up to Sandy Springs. Libby. I'm just not my bus. And we can drink. My bus ain't ready to just drink with you, Libby. Because I think I feel like you like the top shelf shit. And oh, she like. Uh, give me the three dollar drinks. Period. The four dollar. The three dollar drinks. It's three dollars. 
It's three nineties. It's three dollars. It's three nineties. Tiny ways. Tosh Mwah. Right? I don't know why. Tosh Hall? Yeah. Hey, Tosh Hall, girl. Hey, Tosh girl. We love you over here, too. But no, all, we have all shoes. But wait, all, um, all in all, we love Beyonce's album. Yeah, it's a good album. It's a vibe. Beyonce and Khalees worked it out. Khalees, Pharrell, Pharrell, give my girl the things. And Pharrell, it. look at the camera. Pharrell, just give Khalees her stuff. Give my girl her 33%. Chad. Just give it. It's been 20 years. Give my girl her 30 It's been 20 plus years. Because y'all ain't wrote milkshake by y'all self. Give the girl her credit, her her masters, mm -hmm. her credit, at least her credit as a writer. Mm -hmm. So she can fight. So, so she can um, live off of what she created. Rich Harrison? Because milk, milkshake alone was iconic. That doesn't even include anything else that she made. Rich Harrison? Give Ed Marie her credit for all I have. Because I know you didn't write all them songs by yourself, Rich Harrison. So give my girl her things. Timbaland. Ed Marie's writing her book, girl. She ain't no worry about it. Timbaland. What'd he do? Stop charging Brandy so much money to, to produce her album. Produce her fucking album. Period. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Thank uh, you so much for watching. We'll be back within. We love you. We'll be back within three weeks. So look out for us. We gonna have a promo. We, we got uh, listen. We're, I have anxiety. <laughs> we got a lot of shit to do. But girl, we gonna get it. We're gonna do it. We gonna get it done. The Burger shit. We're gonna get it done. We'll be back in three weeks. And we're gonna be back. And we're gonna have our photos. Listen, we're gonna be put. Tell your friends about but, us. Subscribe to the YouTube VAF eighteen twenty four. Um, share the Instagram, VAF 1824. Like us on Facebook, VAF 1824. TikTok. Like our personal pages, Riso Mega. Black Boy Wellness. And Hey Sis TV. Black Boy Wellness underscore. Don't forget the underscore. Girl, they don't see me when they go out. We're there. They're gonna, they gonna see this gorgeous fucking chocolate. Love y'all so much. Um, Libby, I know you're here, girl. We're gonna meet up. And for y'all that hate on Khalees, fuck ya. Yeah. The beehive, oh, leave, leave Khalees alone. Why? She has a she has a right the way she feels. It might not came out the way y'all like it, but that's not. Khalees is a legend. She's an icon. Icon. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Bye. I'm about to eat some beef stew. I'm hungry. Back gonna look at this. He mug. he cooked some beef stew and it was so that's delicious. Cheap. Look at my mug as I leave. Wait, wait. Get y'all screenshots. We just get the fucking hat out of my face, girl. There we go. Screenshot. <laughs> Bye, y'all.